So that was a leopard crossing the road. Right, good morning. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit of water on the road, so there's a bit of rain last night. Nothing hectic, just a, a little drizzle. Um, I'm now on the road down to Skakuza. It's uh, it's pretty cloudy outside. I think it'll burn off in the next couple of hours. The, the weather forecast says that it's still going to be a 29 degree. Um, relatively sunny day so yeah I think the clouds will lift um, but the little bit of rain has definitely uh, you know brought some fresh air and some uh, some coolness to uh, what has been a, a warm couple of days um, plan for today is as I said to drive down to Skakuza there are a couple of stops that I want to make along the way um, there's, uh, there's one or two interesting loops we'll do. There is the, the big sausage tree that I want to go past and just have a look at. Um, I want to stop in at Open Dam. And yeah, travel time I estimate at about five, five and a half hours. Um, and I'm sure that we'll see some interesting animals along the way. And I'll be sure to, uh, to make sure that you see them too. So sit tight, buckle up, and enjoy the ride down to Skukuza. That was a leopard crossing the road. Um, it was very quick. I mean, literally 100 meters in front of me, he ran across the road. He's, yeah, I mean, I, I can still, I can see him, but he's in the thick, he's in the thick bush. And every now and then I get a glimpse of the tail. Um, but yeah, that was a, that was an exciting, first sighting
taking his time. I've got a car behind me. So we're just going to sit, wait and let him uh, go about his business and um, then we'll pass him when, he's, when he gives us a bit of a gap. Okay, so there's a big buffalo herd here to my left um, that I'm just going past. I'm going to slow down. Take a look at this. Okay, we're about three hours into the drive so far. Yeah, been pretty, been pretty good actually. We've seen elephant, we've seen leopard, we've seen buffalo. That's three of the big five. Um, lots of zebra, lots of giraffe, lots of impala. Uh, we saw a couple of warthogs. Um, I just did a little loop here south of uh, Satara um, along the river, and. Um, yeah, beautiful, beautiful scenery, nice big trees, um, nice setting. But I'm now on the move again and um, heading down to what is known as Chokwani um, picnic site. And Chokwani basically means sausage tree. So I imagine there's a big, uh, a big sausage tree as an attraction and um, they've created a picnic site around that so I'm probably gonna stop in there have a look around maybe have some coffee uh, and then I'll, I'll keep moving from there um, just a little bit further south of that picnic spot is a place called Orpen Dam uh, it's nowhere close to the Orpen Gate uh, we're probably we're probably 80 or 90 kilometers away from the Orpen Gate so um, but it's it's on the road the main road uh, Off to the left on the way down between Satara and Skakuza. So I'm gonna stop in there. I think there'll probably be a nice viewpoint and um, We'll take a look around and see what's what's at the open dam 
Okay, so I've made it to Open Dam and I'm at the lookout. Um, wow, what a beautiful, beautiful location. So, got a couple of crocodiles that I can see from here, some water buck. Really, really stunning place. Let's have a look. place to have a coffee stop so that's the Chokwani uh, picnic site the sausage tree um, I decided in the end not to stop in there it, it just looks like it's too busy and um, yeah, too many too many cars around. The, the, the lower part of the park is definitely a lot busier. I've seen a lot more cars on the road. So I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on. Um, I think I've got about an hour and a half down to Skakuza. So uh, let's press on press on ahead.
the section on the right hand side of me now looks like it's just recently been burnt um, I can still see some smoking embers and uh, you can smell you can smell the burn um, but uh, like I said the other day I think it's it's obviously I mean it's the park does these controlled burns it looks like it's you know it was a, a well controlled cool burn because um, there's still lots of grass in patches that hasn't been burnt a lot of the trees are you know all, all the trees are fine so it really is just clearing out that underbrush um, is why they do it but I guess what it means from a from an animal perspective is that you know when these burns happen the animals are going to kind of migrate away from the, the burn section so probably heading out west um, or to my left so I'm unlikely to see much on the on the right hand side on this little loop that we're on so we're gonna we're gonna keep our eyes peeled to the left um, because those animals have probably moved off in that direction Although having said that these impala rams are not too phased by the burnt bush I mean like I said there's still there's still a lot of grass that has been left um, so that's what they're feeding on not everything has been burnt Sabi River. We're close to Kukuza now, it's just around the corner. Okay, I've arrived at Kukuza camp. It's now just quarter to one, 30 degrees, it's hot. I'm a little bit early for check-in, so I'm gonna go to the shop and uh, get some firewood for tonight and get some meat. Um, I'm not sure what the implications are in the camp, given the fact that uh, we went into lockdown level four last night. Um, so I've got yeah I've got an hour and a little bit to uh, to go find out what uh, what the shop has on offer uh, food wise and um, just orient myself in the camp a little bit and then I will check in at two and uh, yeah I'm not sure about a drive this evening I mean uh, coming up for five and a half hours in the car but uh, I will definitely go in search of a sunset um, view 
this evening so it may be a short drive uh, if there's a good view from the camp somewhere I might just uh, I might just go and do that so yeah let's see let's see what Skukuz is about Okay, all checked into camp. Um, yeah, got a nice uh, room down on the river with a pretty decent view. And um, yeah, just sitting around. And I think you probably know me by now. If there's a game drive to be had, I'm gonna have it. So uh, I'm heading out now. I'm gonna go and find a spot um, with a view. Watch the sun go down, see what I can see along the way, and yeah, let's uh, let's see what we can find. Looks like a pretty good uh, viewpoint to spend some time. Maybe watch the sun go down from here. Pretty windy up here, but uh, let's go take a look around. Oh. Wind the windows up because I'm sure the monkeys, like the other day, will climb into the car. So we'll just double check. There we go. park off here for a bit and uh, take the binoculars out and kind of scout around the rock see what I can find and we'll watch the Sun go down then we'll make our way back to camp enjoy it
gonna make my way back down to this Kukuzi camp now and it's a pretty it's a pretty short drive so I don't know if we'll see too much on the way back but I'll, I've got the camera ready and uh, if we do come across something I will definitely uh, make sure I point the camera in that general direction enjoy the rest of the sunset